Hi, my name is Joseph Fannerson, and today I'll be giving you a demonstration of Link Commerce 3.2's digital product support. But before we begin, here's a little bit about me. I'm a Microsoft Certified Professional and Link Commerce Project Administrator. I also manage four other open source projects. So today we'll be discussing the digital products, which is a new feature for Link Commerce 3.2, and it uses Google Checkout. So the user will go to Google, use their cart, uh, their cart will authorize a purchase, and then bring the user to a page on their site with the download link. Google Checkout will also send the user an email with the download instructions for the product. And although Link Commerce doesn't include this feature out of the box, what you can do is add license keys to this as well. So that you can extend on your own. So today I'll be giving you a tour of the Link Commerce administration area, followed by a tour of the public area. We'll then log into Google Checkout Sandbox for the user experience and show you how Google Checkout will take control of the user's purchase. So what I'm going to do now is let me navigate to my website. And I've created a test department, a test category here. You've gone to my add a product screen. I've added a product. I then gone over to my, you edit digital products. So once I've added a product, it'll appear on this list and I just type in a URL. And what's cool about doing that is you can do multiple pictures. You can do multiple categories for the uh, for the content too. So let's take a look at the public side of the site. Take a look here, and our Google Checkout button has appeared. I'll click that button, and you've logged in as my user. Uh, I see here my Stormfo can appear. You can do coupons, return policies, and shipping policies here. It'll also calculate the tax for you. Place that order now. It's going to authorize my card, and if the authorization is successful, which means it's able to take the $10 or $20 or whatever the purchase is out, you'll go to this page. But if not, you'll be bounced back. So there's my download link. Now, what you can also do is log in to the user account for this user, and you can see the order is complete, and it gives you the order history as well as the download link for the product. 